right. So we're doing nails and calluses and stuff today. Yeah, and you wanted to check the wound. The wound. Yeah, that was on here, and that's fine. And that's okay. Yeah. And you see that I got a little irritation mark there yeah. from my shoes. <laughs> Yeah, so you just have to make sure that whatever shoes you get, they're high enough that your toes are not rubbing on them. Don't know my own strength there. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, that's all that is. That just shows me that this, this has been rubbing on something. It could even be, you know, over in this area, it could even just be the... Um, the seam on your sock. Oh, okay. Could be something that innocuous. Okay. All right, any new problems? No. going out to see movies and have Chinese food. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Is your daughter coming home? She will be home on Saturday after six months abroad. Oh. Very excited. My goodness. How did that go for her? Well, let's see, not to brag, she got straight A's in her semester abroad. Really? And she was taking some tough courses there too. Yeah. And then she's been spending the last four weeks traveling around Australia and New Zealand right. and having a ball, absolute ball. And she isn't affected by Well, you know, it's kind of hard to take it, not to take it personally, you know. She's in Australia and Australia burns and yeah. she goes to New Zealand and within a few days the volcano erupts. Yeah, right. But no, she wasn't there. Okay. She wasn't near it. She wasn't. She was on the okay. South Island when that happened, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's funny because, you know, my sister used to live in Colorado and, you know, everybody always thought, well, when they had fires in Colorado, my sister was right in the middle of it while she wasn't. <laughs> okay, you can leave. Um, well, you know, when people don't know. Right, right. When you don't know where it is. In where the state. they are or where the fire is or whatever, yes. you know, just know what you see on the news. Right, but a lot of our friends right now in South Australia, oh. that whole area is burning as well as New South Wales. Oh, gosh. Which is, yeah, it's horrible. A uh, cousin in, in Sydney says that, you know, you can barely breathe when you go out. Really? That's what, I have a friend who is in, um, she lives in South Salido, California. Mm -hmm. And the fires weren't anywhere, you know, I mean, it wasn't like they were out the back door. Mm -hmm. But she said that very same thing, you know, that it was, she couldn't breathe when she was going outside. It was just really. Now that one, that toe, I, I hit. I can see it was bleeding. Yes. Now, I don't know if I hit it on, I was probably in, I was in socks. And,
and my feet all move that way just because of the picking the wrong parents <laughs> yeah genetics <laughs> yeah yes I mean if we had gotten into orthotics when you were 30 yeah maybe some of it could have been avoided right or maybe not you know sometimes it will stop or slow down the progression of the bunions and hammer toes and sometimes it doesn't so yeah. but it's the one thing we have that can and so yeah all right um, So let's get everything kind of smoothed down and thinned out. No. So now your daughter will be off until mid January. Mid -January. And then um yeah. Um just keep rolling and you're not gonna be able to see this either. I'll just edit this piece out then. Um so yeah, she'll and then she graduates in May. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that something? How fast that went? Yes, it is to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like they're, you know, you wish they were not to stay babies, you know? Like, and that isn't part of the routine. Why does it part sure? of you? <laughs> um, and then sure? you can go wide. Yes. Okay. And okay. then you, um, you know, you sort of, I miss. 
I miss shopping for the babies. I miss, you know, doing all that stuff. I know. I remember every age thinking, oh, this yeah. is the best age. I yeah. wish yeah. she could just stay, stay this, this age. age. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's not part of the deal. Yeah, it's not part of the deal, right. but you wish it was. <laughs> I'm going to put a little Band-Aid on that oh, okay. second toe where it was bleeding a little. Um, just leave that on till tomorrow. Okay. And that will not give you any trouble. Okay. easier to do without gloves. And now what what will she do for her career? Well, you know, she has a degree, she'll have her degree in environmental studies basically, um, with a minor in marine biology, mm -hmm. which is why she was in Australia. Okay. And a minor in fisheries and wildlife management. Right. And so the answer is she doesn't know. So she's taking a year. And she's going to work and try and figure out. She's worked at the Bell Museum, okay, um, the Natural History Museum, right, right, for the last year, and okay. really loves bringing science to the public. Oh yeah. And so she may look toward what would it take to, you know, work in a um, museum or. Um, she's also really creative. So what if she got into designing museum displays? I mean, that could be a niche, right, but she has to decide, so it's going to take a little time and figure it out. Yeah, but in she's, the meantime. She was talking about Teach for America or the Peace Corps okay. or something like that. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I'll have to run this by her so that she's okay with the whole world knowing what she's doing. Yeah. Um, but uh, thank you for letting me video. Oh, okay. Oh, you're welcome. Should I stop? Yeah.